Hi there, my name is Patrick, and I am so excited to be filming my first ever video for this channel, My Personal Playground, a channel for me to just basically share the things that I'm excited about in the hopes that somebody who is also interested may be doing a YouTube search and may stumble upon this video and it may be helpful. Um, I am a big YouTube um, researcher. I watch so much YouTube. These types of videos are always my favorite. Just people sharing things that they're passionate and interested in. So without further ado, let's just jump into this. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Hobonichi Techo, um, in particular, Hobonichi Cousin, basically. Uh, it's a planner for all of 2023, and I'll talk about it as I open it. I have opened this box. I've opened a few of the plasticky things, but I still have the actual planner itself to open, so we'll open that together. And I'll just do a quick uh, flip through. Uh, this planner is currently available. I will add links to everything down below. This I ordered from Hobonichi directly, and so it came from overseas and took some time to get here, but it is well worth the wait. My, my box was definitely dinged up a little bit, but I um, was super excited when it came. Um, I like these little quotes that they scatter throughout. Um, and so here we go. So basically here is the planner. I'm gonna pull everything out. Okay, so everything is out. I've got the planner here. I have the cover that I ordered, which I'll look at really quickly in a minute, and the complimentary pen that they send uh, with this. This is a Uniball Jetstream pen. It's got uh, black ink, blue ink, red ink, all 0.5 um, in terms of the tip. And what's great about this pen is it's kind of got retro vibes, which I really love. It also, um, is a great pen, especially when you're first getting your planner and maybe plugging in all those dates and things that we all do at the beginning of a year, like birthdays and uh, holidays, things that you automatically know are going in. I really like using this pen to plug all of those in because there's no dry time. It dries instantly. Uh, so you can really like plug all that stuff in and then sometimes I come back to this pen I have other pens that I love as well, but every year there's a new uh, Color way for the pen. So this year we've got like a chocolate brown with a blue and it says Hobonichi Techo 2023 on it and I just really love it. I think it's a nice little gift that they give this year. We also got a um drawstring bag and it just says 2023 on it and then on the inside there's another quote which I think this is really great such a great tone setter so it says uh, today is the only day the me I am right now will ever exist I want to keep a record of that so the me in the future won't forget them I think that's really cool. So I will definitely be keeping this. I have no idea what I will use it for. I'm gonna set that off to the side for now. And I will set the pen off to the side for now. This is the planner. It comes wrapped in paper. This is the English edition. It is the first time that an English edition has been released. So um, I'm gonna set that to the side for a minute because I do wanna show you the cover that I purchased. There are so many different covers. A5, this is A5 size that you can purchase. This is an actual Hobonichi um, cover. And I really wanted to get a Hobonichi cover that was nylon because um, I hadn't had one. Usually I have leather covers. I love leather covers, but I liked this. I, again, I was having kind of a retro year and this felt very like retro 80s vibes. <laughs> uh, but it's just a simple nylon cover, really well made, lays flat when you open it. It's got all kinds of pouches, one, two, three, four, five pouches, and then a small pouch here and a small pouch here. It's got a secretarial, um, a secretarial pouch here and a pocket here. It's got a pocket here, it's got a pocket here. Um, and it also on the back has a, a large pocket just right here on the back, which I think is nice. Comes with the bookmarks built in, um, two bookmarks. And then it's got this butterfly clasp. So basically to close it, you stick your pen through both loops 
and that actually prevents it from opening up. I actually quite like it um, because when you're laying it down, there's no sort of rocking. Um, I do love a snap enclosure, but um, I'm quite fond of this as well. So, um, and I actually do love how this just lays completely flat because there is no snap enclosure. So um, when I get this open, I'll slide it in here so you can see how that works too. So we'll just sit that off to the side. And it did come with a couple things, the, uh, this little sort of guide to all of their product offerings. It's just fun. It's just fun and it sparks a lot of joy. And if you're a stationary or a paper lover, these kinds of things are things that generally um, you may appreciate. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of a nice little touch here. The paper is what is the most beloved thing about the uh, Hobonichi, and it is the uh, Toma River paper that has been used. It's this really beautiful, takes fountain pen ink really nicely. It's a very, very thin, very durable paper. The paper is changing. It's still gonna be Toma River paper, but um, it will be different for 2024 forward. And so they included this, which is a little um, tester of what the 2024 paper is going to feel like, the new Tomo River paper, the new and improved Tomo River paper, shall we say. And um, I quite like it. I can't really tell a huge difference. Or so that was nice. Um, and I actually love the Sarasa Grand pens, and uh, the, and I did my swatches already in this. So these are all the Sarasa Grand pens, which I use quite often, and I did those in there. Okay, let's look, let's open this up together. I love that it comes wrapped in paper. Um, sorry if you don't like crinkly paper sounds, I will do this as fast as possible, so let's go. Okay, and here it is, the Hobonichi Techo 2023 Cousin. And as you can see, it's just very simple. I really love the simple design. I like the uh, sort of beige monotone palette here with the sort of accompanying text. Um, these are bound beautifully. They are very thick. Um, so it's got a sturdy cover, which is great for keeping it safe. You can see the side here, some of the, these are uh, color-coded, each of the months are color-coded here. So you can kind of quickly flip to any of these colors and get to any of these months. And let's take a quick look at what, how this is set up. I've had a few friends uh, who are not big planner people get interested in this and kind of wanted to just see what one looks like fresh and clean and without any personalization. Of course, there is so much personalization uh, you can do with a, a planner like this. So I'm just gonna be basically showing you the layout and how this is structured, but you'll want to definitely do some YouTubing <laughs> for personalization and how people use this because there's lots of different ways and some people just use pen and ink, some people use tons and tons and tons of stickers um, and really personalize it. Some people use it as just a planner, some people use it as just a journal, some people use it as just a tracker, some people make it everything. Uh, it's amazing how uh, personalized this can truly become. So when you open it up, sure I'm in frame here, yes. When you open it up, you get um, you know, your open pages here and you can see, like look how thin this paper is. It feels so smooth to the touch. I love the sound of it. I love how thin it feels. It almost feels like Bible paper in a way. Uh, first up, you get a overview um, of the year. So this is the overview of 2023. So you get all 12 months you get them just clearly labeled 2023, all the months, um, the number of the months, so the sixth month is June, obviously. Your um, Saturday Sundays are colored just slightly different, Sunday being red, Saturday being a lighter gray. So you can quickly see the weekends. The weekday does start on Mondays and goes Monday through Sunday. 
This is all 2023, and then you have it as well for last year. So if you're wanting to reference last year, you get it all here, the whole year, and you get 2024 for future planning. From here, you go into a yearly overview. So you've got January, February, March, April, and you'll see down the side, you've got a, a line for every single day of, of the month. So here we are, April, April 1st is a Saturday, April 2nd is a Sunday, April 3rd is a Monday, and each line all the way through to the end of the month. Um, there's also these empty big boxes down here that you can use to track different things. There's some empty space up here, but this, this two page spread is January through June. And then this is July through December. So this is great. A lot of people I know put their bills here. Um, a lot of people I know use this for birthdays or holidays just to put like those types of things. A lot of people use these columns for tracking. There's so many options, but basically this is your year at a glance overview. Then you go into your monthlies. So your monthly overview. Uh, you start with December of 2022, and you can see you've got an empty column here, and you've got space here at the bottom to customize as well. And then basically, again, you start the week with Monday, you go to Sunday, and this is basically a monthly dashboard. And again, this is extremely customizable. So you get all of these monthly dashboard views. Again, very clean very just very very accessible laid out very well goes all the way so you get to december of 2023 and then they also include a january of 24 a february of 24 and a march of 24. and after that you go right into a weekly view so we start on december 26 of 2022 the monday and you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You start at um, 5 a.m. and you go all the way to 4 a.m. into the next day. You get this blank space here. You get the number of the week. This is the 52nd week. You get a month overview here. And so these weekly views just go on and on and on until you get through the entire year. Also, I do wanna highlight this, this book just lays flat open. It's very easy to just sort of write. I love how easy on the eyes it is. Everything is legible, but it's also, it's not like um, bold and um, sort of hard on the eyes. Once you get through into next, into the end of the year, which goes all the way to December 31st of 2023, you get this turning a page to the new year, two page spread. This is just kind of a great place. Um, I use this a lot for my goals of 2023. I will put them all here. I also wanna say that this whole front part is where the monthly views and the, over, the yearly view in the front um, here, here the yearly view, here the monthly view, and then here all the weekly views, just take up this much of the actual planner. And this is where I do all of my planning. Like this is my bullet journal, this is my to-do list, this is how I run my businesses. That all takes place here. Um, then you get into um, January. You get a cover page here for January, and these are the daily pages. And this is what I was showing you before, how you can see that they're color-coded. You get a single page for every single day of the year. So January 5th, January 6th, January 7th, January 8th, and I love this. There are so many different ways you can use these daily pages, and I actually love that they are color-coded, so you can flip from month to month fairly easily. And I actually, I showed you earlier, I use these Sarasa Grand Pens, the vintage Sarasa Grand Pens, and you can see there's all these colors, and basically that's, that whatever color I'm using generally corresponds or goes quite nicely with the colors here. You can see most of the colors 
are very similar. So that helps me to determine which color pen I'm using. Uh, so yeah, so you end up with all of these daily pages going, which do take up the bulk of the book. Let's see, we'll get to the last one. Goes all the way to December 31st of 2023. So these are the daily pages right here. And then at the end, you do get a few um, pages of blank grid paper. And then uh, after that, you get some other things that Hobonichi just includes, like you get a timetable. There's a graph paper here. There's a favorites page. Um, this is your top 100, my favorite things. Some guides here for how to enjoy, how to better enjoy conversation. <laughs> a conversation starts with listening. Yes, it does. I like that. Um, words to remember, three, six, nine, twelve. So you could do a word for each month here. This 365 day checkoff sheet. Um, gifts that I've given or received. Addresses of people I want to keep track of. And then of course here, um, my personal information in case this were to get lost. And then down here, each um, Hobonichi is, uh, uh, receives its own unique serial number. So that's mine. And that is a basic walkthrough of this fantastic planner. The first time I used it, I used it for a while without a cover. Um, and I know a lot of people do use these without covers, but I really like having, um, my preference is a leather cover, but like I said, I wanted to get this cover from Hobonichi just to see how it would, how, how, how it is. I've never had, had a nylon cover. So basically you get an A, any A5 cover, um, that will s accommodate the thickness. And some people do, they kind of cover it, they, they insert it into the uh, pocket here. And let's just put the bookmarks down. And they do this. So you can have it like that, which is quite nice. I'll show you how the pen goes in. It does take, this one's brand new, so it takes a little bit of finagling, but it does, they do break in really nicely. Um, and see now that is holding the whole thing closed. Or you can put the back cover in that pocket. And this is always so stressful because it doesn't, it's like you have to bend the planner, but you, you put the front cover in the front pocket. There we go. That was as smooth as I think I've ever done it. And we'll get the bookmarks out of the way. But then when you open it up, you're right in and ready to go. So this is the unboxing and look at the Hobonichi 2023 Cousin. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, especially since it's my first video for this channel. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please let me know by subscribing and leaving a comment in the comments below. I hope I see you again in the future. Thanks again. Have a great day.